welcome. This is Unfinished. I am your host, SK Gitonga. Thank you for joining. This is the only place where we get to finish unfinished matters. Today on Unfinished, we're talking about ethical leadership. Ethical leadership is leadership that is directed by respect for ethical beliefs and setting, setting standards for other people to solicit. Which takes us to our first question. Do you think the leaders that we elected have ethical values in leadership? Let me know what you think in the comments section. Well, that's a very controversial, I have a controversial take. I don't think they are very ethical um, because leadership is not just about exuding your power, it's about listening to the people. And as we have seen in recent events, we have not been listened to and we've been brought down severally. They've been calling us for Toto KFC and the likes. So I don't think so, yeah. But there's a lot to improve on actually. Madilu wa gonazo mzuri lakini anye azifanyi kiko sababu anye manze jo ruto 2022 alibonga fiti. Lakini, eh, eh, hata siju kama kingia second, second, yon ini, yon ini, yon rondi apili, yon sasa. Eh, eh, tuneza angaika zaidi. Juhu sasa kama alisema hivi na nitamu yake ya kwanza, alitutocha hivi, wana mengia nye sisi ya disi, tumeona tiuko po, unawana, tunamadu, vitukaa hizo, tukitetea haki yetu, vitukaa hizo, kubonga wana bonga poa. No, no. The leaders we chose right now uh, are more focused on empowering and filling up their pockets than helping us. They are trying to make the majority of their time by enriching themselves. At all, no. But what I can say, if you want to know a man's character, give him power or her. Sasa, wana to sweet talk to kwa ground, ikifika uko, wana to geuka. And it's, it's like everyone, we have tested all the waters. Apano. Wengi wamekua involved ya kese za murder, coercion, corruption, misuse of office. Office says that tumia kuskam nini, wazungu na foreigners. Na nikitu enye, kwa duu kiona kwa nini, kwa media outlets ama kwa independent journalists. Nikitu wameka, kuna office za government plan itu wala start aja. Plan itu zinatumika kuskam wazungu. Sijui ni kiambu wame ilikuwa api juzi, kuna foreigners, kuna project walikuwa nafanya waka sema governor na MCA. Wako involved wanda wako waskam. Atu wanauzia shamba, wanda kuna blanda wako wasikama timtoe hivi pesa tu wachie. Na unu wenye mekuja kufanya development basi kuwa at least kwa sababu government wenye wame shiindua. Na mtu wakikuja basi anda kufanya development. Government doenda kiku nini hiku scam. Yeah, some. Example kama sisa siku yetu uko lunga lunga kuna runi. So unajo hiyo runi tufanya kazi poa. Ashanza kutengeza malami. Yeah, some of them are worth it, some of them are good. Yeah, for me no na wako bie. Some yes, some no. Some even don't even look like leaders, first of all. They don't even have the... I'm telling you, yeah, they don't look like leaders. Not a lie. It's the truth. They don't look like leaders. They're just there because maybe they're elected, because maybe alikuwa na pesa kanunua yu kiti, ama maybe alikuwa na pesa kapata watu wakam sponsor. But at the end of the day, they are not leaders. I can, that one I can tell you for a fact. Because leaders are not what, what the people on the ground are going through. But I can tell you what... Whatever they are saying in front of people makes sense. In a in a guza mwananchi. See that leader na kuambia tu vitu aziambata ni na mashinda zao. No na, yeah. So most mostly when kwanza when you are kwa government ya Kenya kwanza they are not they don't have any leadership skills. Sorry to say that yeah. It's true yeah it's true. Come on by and by. Let's just say the truth. Tu shinda tu kishuga court vitu na sima oh these leaders they are not they are not they don't have the leadership skills. What on the inji? The fact that maybe Hawaii figure to this point where they express their feelings, they express their frustrations. People are what on now me. Yeah. Oh, they are comfortable because they are on salary. Pesa zao wana shindanga kijongeza. Ata kama wana sema wana ongeza ngezi taxes. Wana ongeza taxes. But it, I say this, you see, wana to at the expense of us suffering. Ah, uh, pana, me a big no kwa sababu. Mukichagua leader anawadanganya naenda kufanya according to your grievances but akifika hapo ako tu after tumbo yake na familia yake for example wale mawaziri wenye wamechaguliwa saizi unapata wengine wametoka kwa upinzani ni nini imewafanya watoke kwa upinzani they are after their own ambitions mtu anasema nilikuwa natafuta kazi ameshapata kazi sasa yuko free kwenda pale anasahau the real citizens 
vile wanamtegemea so mi naona our leaders sio hivyo wako opposite na vile wanafaa kukua yani they are after their own demands demands zao ndizo zenye zina wa drive so hizi for example naona huyu kiongozi huyu kinara wa upinzani ametulia mbona ametulia ame maybe tunaweza sema juu hatuna uhakika tunaweza sema amepata kitu chenye alikuwa anataka watu wake wamekuwa represented kwa government yes for example ile maandamano ilifanyika on Thursday ulikuwa unasikia inchi ze hizi nini zinaitwaje hizi counties penye au watu wametoka watu wa upinzani penye wenye wamekwa kwa government au watu wanasema they are not going to strike because wako kwa government unaona sasa people are there after own demands kuna kitu kingine hapo kivyangu mimi naweza sema upande wa maadili viongozi hawana kabisa kwa sababu ukiangalia wale mawaziri ambao wamechaguliwa kijumla maadili amna ukiangalia zile kesi za corruptions ufisadi ambazo let's say wamepeleka kule kotini ama wameshtakiwa ziko mingi sana na pia rais pia kuwachagua hao hao viongozi ambao wamekuwa katika uh, sehemu ambazo kuna ufisadi ama ambao wako na kesi za ufisadi yaonyesha pia yeye kama rais hajatilia maanani swala la uf, ufisadi hiyo naweza sema kwa kijumla kama youth some do others don't but uh, a vast majority of them based on what we're hearing don't have ethical leadership because they they get away with things that in other countries they wouldn't have uh, for example there was a leader who shot someone but he's out in the open why because he's a leader so I, i don't think so no leadership is not uh, leadership is not easy and you know uh, as long as we are we, we are protesting against the government we also have to know that leadership is not easy if you're in that docket you're complaining about uh, chances are very high that at least uh, you you can mess up on the way so it is it is it is prudent of us to give the government uh, uh, a, an easy time to work out things at the same time also it is good to protest for our rights if we think that uh, things are not going the right way it is good for us to go you know uh, it's like a uh, it's like telling the government this is how we would like things to be it's in a good way although and also uh, according to me leaders should learn to be integral and just honest in their work you know we have heard about corruption all over the country which is not really going well with the youth if we can have leaders who are just uh, you know who are just uh, 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 who can be enough uh, who can feel enough with what they have what they are getting out of the government is still okay without going ahead to uh, you know get resources that are you know out of out of greed or something yeah it's not a good way we have had cases of uh, injustice coming from uh, the leaders you know we have had uh, uh, like uh, nearly mostly of all our, nearly all our leaders have cases in the international court of justice you know like uh, there are people there there have there have even been uh, impeachment motion maybe in their in their um, county governments so uh there yes there are a few who are ethical but uh the large number of them are out there for themselves they are out there gaining money you know like uh, only for their own efforts in their own pockets and uh yeah we should uh, as Kenyans vet them uh, and uh, you know like do uh, do respect for all uh, citizens and scrutinize all uh, their life political life before we, we give them uh, the power to represent us my take on this is 50-50 we do have leaders that have actually done what they promised to do in the beginning where else we have others that have nothing to show for the period of time that they were allocated the seats that they do have right now i think it's high time that we stop joy riding on those seats and do exactly what brought us to the government which takes us to our next question do you think leaders are accountable for their actions let me know what you think in the comment section no unajua example saka when you mean student na tunasoma kitabu ni fathers of nation na book na samaritan those books do based on government 
wise. So, no, no, even from those books, the way government of Kufanya Makosa, Kama MC, Yama MP, Yama Samoya, who wenda, wana, wani, wani switch na kujina kwa ni kama iso makosa sasa, sasa ina kuwa alo. So, sometimes wana fa at least adu wa walipiyo kisasi kwenye mefanya. Eh, wa for five people that do evil. Some of them are accountable while others are not accountable. Ju unaweza pata mtu ako kwa wizara fulani for example tuseme mawaziri hata tuseme huyu lida kina huyu wa kina huyu wa upinzani huyu Raila Amolo Odinga. Unapata sometime ako forehead yani ana pressure kitu fulani inafika mahali ana anatulia hiyo inamaanisha he is not accountable anafaa ku oversee kila kitu yenye government inafanya but sasa akitulia inaonyesha kabisa ameacha role yake eh ya overseeing ameachana nayo hizo ai wapi wengine wana tuchochanga wanasema ho sijui niliwakosea nitafanya hivi kama msamaha sijui nitajenga kitu fulani lakini unaona wana tuchocha tu wana tudanganya tu zaidi ya zaidi sasa si kawa Kenya wanatuingisha box na na maona uongo unaona sasa kama anajua aliwakosea nyima vijana anawaambiaje nyima vijana ndio wajengea kitu fulani mtuli mtulie unaona sasa nyimu natulia mnangoja wapi mnangoja huo msemu muoni tena no not really no, they are not accountable for their actions uh, many at times we part of leaders committing crimes and nothing really happens to them because we well, we live in a country that where the justice system can touch the untouchable you see they're in a class of their own kama wewe ni leader tumekuchagua umeenda huko ukaiba pesa ya mwananchi I think you should be even we should have a law yenye inakuja inasema mtu akiiba pesa ya mtu anafaa like aleto mali kama archives anyongewe hapo kwa sababu that's uh, yeah, that's uh, public resources yenye mtu akifanya anaiba that is so me according to me nasema mtu akifanya kosa anafaa like awajipi awajipike mwenyewe because hii Kenya system ya Kenya sijui venye na wako sababu unasikia mtu u, u, kuna corruption lakini hiyo case inaenda ikiendanga according to me tunafaa tukue na system yenye like government wanafaa wa waangalie hiyo system hata hiyo ileto public participation tuseme mtu akiiba mali ya umma analetwa na nyongwa kila mtu itakuwa lesson utaisikia ati wizi inaendelea kwa public resources um over the past few years they have not been accountable but as a result of the Gen Z uprising and the youth we are actually holding them accountable and we are really stepping on their necks and making sure that they are going to explain to us how things are supposed to go and the likes no they are not um, whether there is a scandal or anything they usually find ways they either shut up the witnesses or they bribe the courts it's not fair anyway <laughs> yeah they are not accountable for their inactions the apologies are lies. They are, they are like, to me tenga, to me wake up. It's not working. Kitu ya file leaders wakao countable. Hizo independent offices za kuchunguza. Kama ESC, si huku hivyo iko corrupt your office. Sewezi ni ambia ni independent sai. Kenya waneza fanya ni, hizo offices kwe clear doubt kwanza. Lafu wanze, sayu kita kuvotia. Mtu wama mtu wakita kuingia government. Wanafa fanya thorough background check. Ya mtu wajue kama ni criminal, kama sasa hivi kianza mtu anakuja ona clean slate hakuna cha kuanza tio alifanya hivi tulimsamea ametupea pesa ametuambia atafanya hivi tumwache tiende ati ame learn lesson mm. leaders should be accountable for their actions uh, but for in Kenya uh, due to the recent uh, uprising of the of the um, protests the Gen Z protests uh, there are so many atrocities that are committed eh, to to human to humanity you know and uh, so far we have not seen any any actions to to maybe follow up and uh, find out what happened and uh, maybe uh, put those who committed atrocities to human to, human, to humanity uh, to answer for their crimes if uh, if we can have a very a very good evidence or uh, you know very good ways of finding corrupt leaders and yet cover them up it's a way of showing us that we are not integral in our ways. You know, we have had so many cases where we know, and uh, even it's out of order that uh, some leaders are becoming corrupt. And then we cover such incidents up. Uh, it's, it's a way that uh, shows that the court or whatever the people dealing with such cases are not 
are not actually accountable. If they were, such leaders should not be just roaming around. They should be there to be accountable on their actions. 100% kwa asilimia miyemoja na zasema kwamba viongozi vietu wanafaa kuwa accountable kabisa. Sabu, kama umechaguliwa katika, let's say, sehemu mbalimbali, labda we ni mbunge, we ni waziri, we ni naibu rais, ama we ni rais mwenyewe, you are answerable to the people. Sawa, sino tumekuchagua, na pia ushuru wetu ni nalipa. Sawa, kwa hivyo kama inenda kazini na pia naitajika pia ni kuwe accountable, vile vile ni naitaji pia kiongozi wangu wa kuwe accountable. Lakini, swala hili ni swala nyeti sana, kwa sabu wapa Afrika, hamna, hamna accountability, mtu atakuwa pale ofisini, afanya mambo yake, ashuka na kesi za ofisadi, lafu, anachiliwa naenda hivyo. Ama napatia na hongo pale kotini, alafu anachiliwa. So, swala hilo, halijatilia umanani. Swala la ofisadi, ama kuchukua hiyo 100% accountability ya kuna. According to what we have seen throughout the years, we have had uh, parliamentary officials who have been accused of certain crimes, but ended up innocent only because they could uh, be able to buy their freedom. But I feel like that is not a good thing. No matter how much influence you have or how much money you have, you are supposed to answer to the arm of the government. Let's take a short break. We'll be back with two more questions. <laughs>